It's football time in Tennessee. Those words have long been associated with running through the tee, the glory of the checkerboard end zone, and the big orange ready to do battle. Maybe you need a little caffeine, or maybe the sheer energy of this matchup will keep you wide awake as we know anything can happen when you kick off after dark. As we'll see a squad from the back, the Kent State Golden Flashes, taking on the 15th ranked team in the land, the Tennessee Volunteers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. So Kent State's return man hardly helped out the offense with that one. And here he is. Let me tell you about this wide receiver. He is a route-running, DB-toasting, pass-catching, touchdown-scoring, woo, son of a gun. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this defense is going to try and corral this guy because you play man-to-man, -man, you risk him running right by you and catching the deep ball, but you play zone and you give him the opportunity to potentially make yards after the catch. You're going to have to be really careful trying to cover that dude. And the golden flashes, racing to the line in the hurry up. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own. And unfortunately, ended up losing yards. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Now they'll run the draw. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Well, we knew this offense came into this one wanting to establish the run on their first three plays of the game in their own end. Run, 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 but they don't pick up the first down. Now it'll be interesting to see if they continue running the football there next time out. The Golden Flashes line up to punt it away. Having to kick it away after a three and out's not what they had in mind. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stopped. The Volunteers' offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking to throw, it's Iamaleava. He wants to go deep. Got it in stride inside the 20. Touchdown, Tennessee! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm town. He showed it to all of us right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he's 
stopped at the 18. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. The inside handoff. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19, give him one. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. And the golden flashes, moving quickly to the line. The give from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great team defense on that one. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it, man. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. to pass it's Gubatowski they'll run the screen great job on defense they did their film study on third down they're trying to dial up the screen see if they can get these pass rushers way up the field but no can do they get a tackle for loss on the play and now setting up fourth the golden flashes will try to pin them back with the punt this will be the second time they've had to kick it away And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. He's looking to throw. And the ball is picked off. Looking for more room. At the 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, golden flashes. What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone, your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Hand off from the shotgun. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. They'll rely on running behind the big left tackle here. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And this brings up a third down and identical situation, right? Like, do I want to be physical? Do I want to run the football? Or do I maybe want to take a shot? It's always interesting. These situations in football always come down to aggressiveness. How aggressive do you want to be? Because, Palmer, you kind of know what kind of coverage you're going to get. Yeah, and I think for this running back, too, knowing him, he, he's just super competitive. He's going to want an opportunity to get another crack at this right now and really sort of get himself lathered up into the rhythm of this game. I give him another shot toting the rock here on third. 
And the Volunteers will line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. And the golden flashes want to crank the tempo. It's a draw. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Well, they try to go with draw, and they didn't catch the defense blitzing, so it wasn't a great look anyway. But up front, they just got beat regardless. And that back, David, had nowhere to go. They had nowhere to go, but those offensive linemen, you got to send and you got to invite those defensive linemen up the field and kind of push them by. And, and you could tell they didn't do that. They didn't create any holes. There was really nowhere for him to go. You got to give him that first little hole, and then maybe he can make a move. So the offensive line needs to do a better job. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB. The golden flashes send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. The run to the right. Plows through the defense. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. Well, you can see why Rocky Top is so excited about this guy. He's a home run waiting to happen. Not only can he run you over, but he can run around you, too. This is an offense that doesn't only have to throw the football to win games. They can run it, and they can get explosive plays because of this guy's speed and skill set. Dropping back, it's Iamaleava. Throwing right. He got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Well, this quarterback is going to have to be precise with his timing and his accuracy. He's already thrown a pick. That one got swatted away, guys. We're only in the first quarter. These windows are tiny to throw into. Offense gets set for second down. Off the play fake. Shoots it to the left. It's caught downfield. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. Another big play on the outside, and that's the thing that historically has gotten Rocky Top rolling. Yeah, it's so much fun to watch playmakers outside that they can run by you and go make big plays. Opens up the whole field, the whole offense, and this Orange fan base goes absolutely bananas. He's looking to throw it. Unleashes one deep. And he's got it! Touchdown, Volunteers! How about the offense? They spread them out. Everybody spread wide. Easier to read a defense when you do that. They find the matchup they want, and they get rewarded with the score. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. 
a very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. To the ground with the back. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. And that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains, to set your defense for positive situations down the road. And the golden flashes want to pick up the tempo. They'll go to Garcia. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances. Third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. To the air on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, we're only in the first quarter, but already this defense is making their presence felt. We've seen time and time again their ability to rush the passer and get hits on this QB. This toughness is going to get tested. Here's the handoff. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. He tried to make something out of nothing, but there was really nothing he could do on that play. And I hope offensively that's not going to make them quit on this option play. That, that's a scheme that really puts the defense in a bind. If I were them, I wouldn't let that play stop them from trying to run it later in this game. A little misdirection and the handoff on the counter. Tackled there by the defense. Well, the defense wasn't expecting that. They had a lot of guys back in the coverage. That was second and a lot of yards to go, and they got caught off guard. Not enough guys in the box to control that running. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Got it in the middle, it's McCray. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning, too. That was beautiful. The golden flashes want to move quickly. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You can tell the defense and everyone was right where they're supposed to be. Nowhere to run. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Tackle is made right at the 20-yard line after a pickup of four. Third down, and this crowd will blow out a vocal cord to help this defense.
They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. Well, you're always going to wonder what woulda, coulda, shoulda happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The volunteer offense is back and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Caught in the backfield, it's Sampson. Guys have the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You gotta be first though. I gotta be able to trust you in the pass game, and I gotta be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're gonna catch it, and I can depend on it. Quick tempo here for the offense. Shakes off the defender. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that's a great job by the defense, understanding exactly the situation, understanding to stay home, play sound. No matter who gets the football, we're going to run to the football hard. We're going to cage the football, be disciplined. Nice job by the defense. The Volunteers headed quickly to the line. To the air. It's Iamaleava. He makes the grab. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third short, what they like third medium, third long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. Off play action on first down. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. Quarterback on the keeper. And he's able to pick up a few yards as we reach the end of the first quarter. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. He looks that one in nicely. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. The Vols are rolling down the field. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll go to the ground. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. 
Watching this Tennessee running back, man, he just runs with so much purpose. And it reminds me of guys that I used to play against, Jamal Lewis and Travis Hedman, two great ball running backs that used to really test the physicality of our Gator defenses and some of those great games we had back in the late 90s. This dude right here, man, he just wears you down every single carry. Running back searching for a hole. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. And the balls are in the hurry up. They'll run it from the gun. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hit in the yard. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. And the Volunteers have it with a first and ten. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Basic connection. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. The Volunteers will try to put one on the board on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Second and goal for the offense. Looks as if he's going to run it. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Bombs! A methodical drive, soul-crushing, spirit-breaking, and it ends in a touchdown. And listen, I know everybody wants the big plays, the big, long touchdowns and all that stuff, but putting a drive together like that is very difficult to do time and time again, and it's demoralizing for the defense. Great drive by the offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, it's a 21-10 game. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. Out of the gun, the running back has it. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. And the golden flashes will hustle through the line. Back to pass, it's Gubatowski. Just a short pass to the tight end. Brought down at the 28, but it's a 10-yard gain. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. Oh man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. 
He's looking to throw. Caught behind the line. It's Garcia. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. And a great job by the QB finding the running back, getting the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. The golden flashes are on the move. Wants to throw on first down. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Now the defense has got it going the other way. And they'll get him down after a solid return. And the quarterback just ran out of time there, and they were able to knock it free. Quarterbacks have got to do a great job keeping two hands on the football, especially in passing situations like that, because you know defenders are swatting at the ball. Even if you can't see them, these guys, they're 6'5", 6 6'6", 6 6, they've got long arms. They're trying to rip and tug away and get that ball out of your hands. A QB will learn from this play. He's got to do a better job with his fundamentals. Powers through the defender. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Well, they go back to the option play. Now, this is the second time, Paul, this QB has scored running this scheme offensively. Yeah, and as a defense, you've got to understand when you're playing the option, it's responsibility football. i got to stop my assignment. I can't get caught in somebody else's business. You can tell this defense not really ready for this quarterback run game. They better figure it out or it's going to be a long game. Try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position and they struck quickly for the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. Leaves it with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense. Great the tackle for a loss on first down. And the golden flashes in the hurry up. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. Looking to pass. It's Gubatowski. Gets it out quickly. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. The Golden Flashes have it with a first and ten. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. They opened the lane, and he hit it again of five out to the 33. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Using the quick game. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. 
He's going to pass. Caught in the backfield, it's Garcia. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. Well, there was really nowhere to go for the quarterback with that football. He's just trying to check it down to his running back, and the defense was there, and they made the play. No huddle here for the offense. To throw, it's Gubatowski. Throws to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. There's just so much chemistry between this quarterback and his receiver. And you saw it right there, down the perimeter, trying to work the boundary. Just put it somewhere near him. He'll catch it. He'll get a foot down and help out his offense. From inside the 40 at the 37, it's first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. Quarterback floating away from pressure. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. What a great job by this defense, setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable, make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they built the lead. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. Off play action. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. And this defense goes back-to-back -back sack, Jack. you got to be impressed with this defense early in this game, guys. They've got a big lead because they are getting after the quarterback. They've already generated multiple sacks. They thought coming into this game they could take advantage of this offensive line, and that game plan is working to perfection. And the Golden Flashes will punt it away on fourth down. And you just won't see a more effective punt than that out of bounds inside the five-yard line. From the gun, running back gets the gift. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defensively, I know what they want to do here, right? They're backed up. Do they want to pass the football? No, because they don't want to get hit in the backfield with the quarterback and give up a safety. So I know they want to run the football, give them some breathing room to call some other plays. That's why I can be a little bit more aggressive. Really good job by the defense being aggressive. Looking for a gap. It's Sampson. He breaks a tackle. He was able to reach into his bag of tricks and use it to pick up a few extra yards. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the offense was going to be able to dig themselves out of this hole, but on second in California, they dial up the running play, now setting up third and short. Third and short, they've got them backed up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. On the option, he'll pitch it. He just needed a yard on third down, and there just wasn't any room to pick it up. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. The Vols will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a ring. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. The golden flashes come to the line in the hurry up.
looking for a man. It's Uwatowski. And complete. And he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic. Fortunate to get it back. Well, a great job in coverage on the back end by the defense. You just got to finish the play. That should have been a pick. When you've already sent your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Unloads to the right. Pulls it in. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. And the golden flashes have it with a first and ten. From the gun, the ground game. Not much room, a pickup of two down to the 28. Yeah, a lot of times you want those big plays, you want those splash plays, but sometimes you're going to take some losses, you're not going to run the football overly well, but if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance, you at least have the threat of it, otherwise you're just going to abandon it, now it's just going to be a passing game. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw catch in the middle it's Dorsey he's really close to that first down marker but they stop him just a bit short and he throw a little hitch route nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly wide receiver quarterback nice job being on the same page nice completion nice catch third and short from the 22 is the field goal unit getting ready or is this already four down territory quickly complete good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Going for it all. It's incomplete and nearly intercepted in the end zone. You get the ball that close, you cannot put it in harm's way. And listen, as a quarterback, you're trying to find the matchup, trying to find who's open. I don't know if anybody was open, but that was not a greatly thrown football. I don't know if it was miscommunication, but the ball thrown out of bounds, and I just on to the next down. Looking to throw, it's Gubatowski trying to get to it. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. The defense has been so dominant up front. You've seen it in these passing situations. That now, the seventh sack of the game. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. He boomed it through, a 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. The freshman quarterback very fortunate for that one to fall incomplete. Well, the quarterback knew where he wanted to go with the ball. His intended target just wasn't open, so the quarterback made sure he put that football in the stands. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Makes the catch. It's Thornton. 
And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. Scanning the field, it's Iamaleava. Wide open downfield. Got a lot of running room. Touchdown, Volunteers! And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. Have a day, young fella. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, but three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And they tack on the extra point. It's 35-13. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish with a huge play in the passing game, covering 75 yards to Housing. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. The returner will field it and bring it back. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. Trying to find his man on first down. What a complete disaster. What a terrible decision to run that far backwards and take the safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field. Put the pressure on him. Got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. He'll bring it back. It's White. Line gets set. First down. He wants to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. They'll immediately call timeout. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. To the air, it's Iamaleava. Passes incomplete, the clock is down to nine. And that is the play the defense needed to turn the momentum around in this game. They needed somebody to step up and make a play. That should have been intercepted. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. And it's first down, but they'll try the field goal in the closing seconds of the first half. Between the uprights, it's good. And now the lead is even bigger. Gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful start to things in Knoxville here today. And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there. 
causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys? And how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Neyland Stadium. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic than they get him on the ground at the 20. The Volunteer offense is back and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23, a pickup of four. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll run play action. Lofts one high and deep. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football... No P.I. able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. On the move. Kept it, and he's past the marker. They make the stop, and this running game moves the change as they get the first down. I think Jesse and Reese could call offensive plays. For any team, if they're having this much success on the ground, it starts with the ground game, right? Like, you can chew up these kind of plays, then I can play action later on and take shots, but right now, defense has first got to stop the run game that's been chewing them up. They'll put the tight end in motion. The give out of the gun. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow at second and seven. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down, it's second and seven. To the air, it's Iamaleyava. Fires to the wide out. Working on the right. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. And the Vols are moving quickly down the field. Comes out throwing on first down. Finds his tight end. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Nice quick throw there. And it's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on the game. Now the play fake. Unloads to the wide out. Got his man downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. He is having a day. Already visited the end zone three times, and he might get back there again soon, David. I mean, just crazy. He, he's getting open. They haven't had an answer for him. You think at some point you go, all right, he's not going to beat me anymore, but the defense continues to give up yards, and he is like, yes, please. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave a little bit of everything on that one. It's a really nice job of the offense mixing it up on this drive. We've seen some nice plays throwing it. How about that one running it too? Great push up front. And the Volunteers line it up with a first and goal. Trying to slam in. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You can't let the same guy beat you over and over and over again. You got to make adjustments. Sometimes you got to bring more guys in the box, more guys to the football, and make sure he's not the one who beats you. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? A run for the quarterback. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. 
Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job, everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Will they be able to get that one more yard and stick it in here on third down? Bounces it outside. It's Sampson. Touchdown, Bombs! And the route is on. Well, well, well. Somebody's been doing their box jumps. Wait, I'm getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that. Save me, and that might be my screensaver on my phone. That vertical way up in the air. Getting set for the point after. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender. Understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down to make sure that's an incompletion. After misfiring, it's second down. Back to throw, it's Gubatowski. Get it out on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. Grab in the backfield. It's McCray. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Now on second down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. And the golden flashes are on the move. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They're gonna ride this running back. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give is to Garcia. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way. And when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. Pocket starts to collapse. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The Golden Flashes will punt this one away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah. Oh, he wants it all. 
And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. Well, these two have linked up for multiple touchdowns in this game. They had the look they liked. They were licking their chops, taking a shot down the field. We haven't seen too many incompletions when these guys have been trying to play throw and catch. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Pushed his way ahead. Really good run to get it out to the 20, a pickup of five. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. Back to throw. It's Iamaleava. Got him downfield. Finding open areas. Off he goes. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. That route is a man beater, and the quarterback knew exactly where to go with it. He got the look he wanted, put it out in front of the receiver, let him do the rest, yards after the catch, setting up first and goal. The Volunteers have it in scoring position on first and goal. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And you try to catch him off balance maybe on first down and goal right here. A situation where maybe you sneak in a pass. Defense was ready. Got the sack. Now, now you got to be a little bit more creative now that you got the negative play. The offense, I know you've worked this all week. you got to get ready to execute in the red zone. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. He wants it all. Touchdown, Tennessee! And the beatdown has ensued. Is there anything this dude can't do? He's channeling his inner Condridge Holloway, Heath Schuler, or dare I say, the great Peyton Manning. I bet he can't lead the band, Reese. I bet he's not allowed to do that. He's having himself a day, but he's not there yet. But man, putting up some stats, doing what he wants, this offense is absolutely cooking. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Starting a drive like that really builds confidence. First down from the 45. It's a draw. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. Hey, when those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Looking downfield, it's Gubatowski. Gets it out fast. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Lining up to convert third down. They'll try to run for it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. And the Golden Flashes decide to punt it away. Man, these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. And just a spectacular punt. It'll go out of bounds inside the five-yard line and really put this offense in a hole. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got a right where I want him. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. On second down, wants to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Yeah, great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you got to find a way to get a step, make it easy for your quarterback to read that leverage. And if he drags across the field, he can see he had him. He completes it for the first down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. This is just so demoralizing. You want to talk about taking a game over. That's what this defense is doing right now. They are just winning in the trenches. They're easily the more athletic and more physical unit up front, dominating this O-line. The Golden Flashes will bring the punt team onto the field. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. They go to the ground. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Looking for room. It's Sampson. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This defense obviously knows they've got to be able to stop the run if they're going to win this football game. And you wonder if they've been able to make some tweaks and adjustments to try and take this running back away. Here on third down. Looking to throw. It's Iamaleava. A strike downfield. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. You saw it right there on that. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Got his man quickly. And he'll be marked down, but he's got enough to move the chains. And now he's in the 400 club, 400. That's a pretty good day at the office when you're putting up over 400 yards. This defense hadn't had a lot of answers. The Vols are flying down the field. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll try the run. 
Gets it inside the 30, down to the 27, a pickup of six. I know the passing game sells, the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. On the option. He'll pitch it. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, it just seems like everything is working for the offense on this drive. Another nice game, this time on the ground. And the Vols come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Movement here from the tight end. They'll give it to the back. They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. The gift to the back. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. I'll tell you what, when those little guys make those physical plays like that, it kind of jacks everybody up in the huddle, because it's usually the guy breaking ankles, but he's like breaking tackles. Now he's giving you some serious energy. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Back to throw, it's Iamaleava. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? They already have a comfortable lead up by multiple possessions, but they're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try to pick up the first. Touchdown, Volunteers! And the pummeling has started. Hey, this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conservative. Because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring. And the defense better do something about it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. Gonna let it fly. Makes the grab down the left side. Oh, look out, there he goes. Touchdown, Kent State. That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. And this has been a rough day for this offense. And finally, some good things to happen. Build some momentum maybe for the future. You know, that's, that's the way that coaches spin it when you're getting beat up and you're getting destroyed. Like, listen, let's, let's find something for the future. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep working. This team's done that. Put some points on the board. So it's not all bad. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Splits the uprights. 
If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Smashes through the tackle. Just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They move the tight end all over. Out of the gun, the inside give. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. This is where you make the money on the drives. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. Caught near the sticks, it's McCoy. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll run it from the gun. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. He'll keep it himself. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. And the Volunteers will send out the punt unit. And a precision punt there will pin the deep inside their own 10 yard line. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time, just destroying his way through the field. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. On first down from their own 22. Looking to move it through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Harrison. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Dropping back, it's Gubatowski. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys are on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. They want to just keep throwing it. Quick strike complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. 
Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. And the golden flashes look to keep this drive humming. Going up top on first down. Quickly complete. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage. And as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call and really nice execution. The golden flashes with the first and ten. He's looking to throw it. They're bringing heat. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. Looking to go up top on first down. Throws to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. Yeah, it was a nice comeback route. Most important part of a comeback route, dude, I got to sell you vertical like I'm running a go. And then I sit down and I come back to the football catch. A nice route by the wide receiver. Now on the move at the 28-yard line on first down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. To the air, it's Gubatowski. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. And the defense drags him down. I think that receiver really had two choices there. Catch the ball, or he was going to wear it in his chest. Yeah, he was going to be maybe taking a, an ice bath after too many of these curl routes and catches them in the body like that. This quarterback has a cannon arm. The receiver found the soft spot in the zone, and man, the quarterback gave him no choice. They'll throw on third and short. The pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. The name of the game is protecting your quarterback. He can't have success or complete passes on his back. Let's get the quick passing game going, maybe hand the football off. But whatever we're doing, let's go the opposite direction. And they'll run the field goal unit back out there. This kicker has already banged a couple through. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. And it's right down the boulevard. And the field goal is good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Right back to the well. Still on his feet at the 45. 
and how much running room have they been able to find just all day? They are piling up unbelievable rushing stats. Yeah, this offense has had their way with this defense, and they've had a lot of success. And I tell you what, if this defense wants any chance of coming back, they better get physical and stop the run because right now this offense is having their way. The give to the tailback. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Offenses ice football games in the fourth quarter by running the football. And that's what these guys are trying to do right now, right? We're going to bleed the clock. We're going to stay on the field. It doesn't matter if the defense knows we're running it. They cannot stop us. And they're looking pretty impressive right now doing it. The RPO, it's complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. The Volunteers will line it up on first and ten. From the gun, give on the inside. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. And that would be the definition of first down success, putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Looking downfield, it's Iamaleava. He caught it! Touchdown ball! And the stomping has commenced. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And here's the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. Nice job by the defense there, taking all throws away from the quarterback. He had nowhere to put that football in the field to play, so that ball obviously had to go out of bounds. Now on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. What a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Well, they take a shot down the field. It's another incompletion. It's really been that kind of story. This defense has made this guy earn it every single play. Really small windows to throw into. One touchdown pass. That's a little bit surprising. You thought maybe they'd have more in this game. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He's got it, and they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Simple call, excellent execution, moves the sticks on third down. These QBs and receivers, man, they run this route in practice thousands of times, so it's nice to see them come out here and execute it in game conditions. Great job with the timing, great job with the depth. And that ball's free behind the line. Well, the offense looks as if they fell on the fumble, and they'll keep the ball. You know, these running backs have to keep five points. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. The quick out. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And he runs a quick out route, and this is a timing route. The quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Back 
through the air one more time. Fires to the big fella. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. Yeah, he gets the first down, and I tell you what, these are the guys you like to go to. Throw those big body tight ends with the sure mitts over the middle of the field where you know you can get a high percentage throw. Nice catch, nice first down. And the golden flashes have this offense rolling. Looking for a man, it's Gubatowski. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Well, the physicality of the secondary on defense, that defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. After the misfire, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Can't make the catch, and it'll be third down. He had that thing and just lost his concentration. Well, it's a good route by the wide receiver. He gets to the middle of the field. I think he just took his eyes off the football. Ball is at the 41 as his defense tries to force the punt on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. And now such a tough situation late in this game. You're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. You've got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Bringing it back, it's White. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Line getting set on second down. They'll put the tight end in motion. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. And this is exactly where you're going to be as an offensive coordinator. Like, when you've got the lead late in the football game, just run the football, eat the clock. Man, they've put a good day together. They, they, they've, had a, they've had their way with this defense. A lot of positive things to point to. This is one of those weeks when you watch tape, it's going to be really fun to watch it. Not like when you get beat up. A lot of big plays from this offense. Nice move to keep running. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments and find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. Hand off from the gun. And after the short game, that is going to put this one in the books. 